students may experience shuttle delays than over the next few months. The work on the nearby bridge replacement project has been going on already, but soon it will cause road closures, more traffic, and potential delays. Well, it's really had a huge impact on our driving. Usually I can get around uh, two trips in 20 minutes, but now it seems ridiculous to even get into th under 340. That's when the train leaves. So if trying to get three trips in 30 minutes with the construction, it's ridiculous. To keep kids getting to school on time, we may have to run a second shuttle in the morning and the afternoon. Anytime they do a retrofit like that for bridges or for like foundations for homes, it uh, improves it improves the uh, structure remarkably. So I, I think they're doing a heck of a job out there, and that's why it's taking so long. Although the shuttle could go under Tilden or Poplar Avenue bridge is and be flexible during replacement. The detour traffic makes both of these routes slower, possibly pushing the time up to 15 or 20 minutes round trip. The bridge replacement, you know, it really only affects us when they close down the street. Um, that really slows things down and pushes us to use our alternative uh, routes. You know, there's many different ways to get over there, uh, but it does add traffic. Students may have to load and unload the shuttle faster than they already do to compensate. Roads have been run as a single lane under the bridges that in the past for this project, which affected traffic. Trains were no exception to with this alternating direction rule either. The new bridges here in San Mateo will, will be more earthquake resistant and ready for electrification and higher above the road. They will make accidents like this one less common, but unfortunately this specific bridge, bridge will not be raised. They will also be single-span structures, meaning no supports between the road and the sidewalk like it is now. In the end, these images may improve a access, making shuttle trips potentially faster or more reliable. Hi everybody, I'm Callie, and it's time for a super duper important public service announcement. This week, we're talking about trash and how you can help the world look less, well, ew. You can help by recycling. It's super easy. Recycling saves resources, reduces waste, and keeps our school clean. You can recycle paper by simply tossing it in the bin. Recycle cans and bottles by emptying them into the sink so they can be remade. Recycle plastic by making sure it's clean and has a recycling symbol located on it somewhere. Thanks for watching, guys! David Alice's are offering new classes this year to allow high school students to have more elective choices. The three new classes are Broadcasting Maker, Workshop, and Drama. In Broadcasting class, students are creating weekly Stanbridge newscasts. For Drama class, David and his students are producing a play and possibly performing it in the near future. In maker class, students are building fascinating objects and invention for the maker fear. Alice's St. John is teaching broadcasting, something that has never been taught at Stanbridge. Uh, I've always wanted to do a broadcasting class. We used to have a Stanbridge newspaper years ago that was student run, and that kind of hasn't happened the last few years, so it's great to bring something like this back. She is teaching students how to make five-minute news videos that highlight events and interests at Stanford. She is hoping to get a news blog started as well. David Hopper is teaching the drama and maker classes. He is teaching a drama in his music room and makers in the upstairs and next rooms. I feel that here at Stanbridge we got a lot of people with good skills with their hands and we weren't really exploring that and I'm a maker, I love to make things and so I, I wanted to share that with, uh, with the students here at Stanbridge so that's, one, that's the main reason I made the maker class also I love the maker fair and I want us to have a table there with some of the things that we've created. Um, drama class, I had a drama class a uh, few years ago um, but that, once I started doing more music, um, didn't have time, unfortunately, to do that drama class. So, what I'm really excited about, and one of your other questions, I believe, was um, how is drama class different from drama club? 
Uh, drama class, I could really work on characters, and I, that's what I wanted. I wanted to work on characterization, I wanted to work on reading plays, um, even creating plays. Um, and I could do that better with a class every day, as opposed to a club just every week. According to David, he and his students are taking apart OVCR he got, so his classroom is full of exploded computer pieces. If you have any more questions, please ask Elsa or David for answers. I hope you enjoy these new classes.